how's it guys? Thanks, Sina. Um, how's the stalker? Um, some interesting yes. selections there. Um, I see the Dupria twins have been called up. Uh, is that because you guys have had a few less box join up than expected? And uh, a bit surprising not to see Sasha Fanberg Mugomazulu in the mix. Is he possibly in the mix for the box there? Now, regarding to uh, uh, Dupria brothers, you know, uh, because of the injuries we had with our main team at the Springboks, you know, a guy like uh, uh, Lord Diaga, I think, is going to be out for this week. And uh, Jasper Riza also, I think he, they're still going through some uh, concussion protocols, you know, so uh, they're not sure if he's going to be ready for this week. But uh, so we had to pull two extra losses, you know, if it wasn't for those injuries, probably we'll have a guy like uh, uh, Ivan Boss joining us in, uh, you know, in our squad and Marvin Ori. But uh, unfortunately, they with the Springboks at the moment. And uh, Sasha at that side, he was, uh, we got a bit of an injury last week. So they're still managing very well uh, with our medical team on that side, with Dr. Jerome Ampane. So that's the only reason those guys, they're not with us, you know. Otherwise, once again, the first priority for us on tour is uh, to make sure that the Springboks are in a better place regarding to the, uh, uh, the avail availability of the players. But I'm excited, you know, a guy like, Jean Luc and then we know what they've done uh, in, in the past. You know, they've been superb also when they play for Sale Sharks. You know, whenever we, they get an opportunity for the Springboks, they've always tried to lift their hands up. So I'm excited to work with them and with the experience they've got. So, yeah, looking forward to it. Percy? Thank you so much, you know. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Um, Coach Sik, um, firstly, congratulations to your first team, sir. G can I ask you, Coach Stick? Um, 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 I'm only allowed to ask one question, so I'm going to ask you, Coach Stick. Please remind us again: what is the purpose of this SAA side? Is it for you as a coach? Do you want to see a result against Munster, and is that is the most important thing, or is it an opportunity for you guys, as national coaches and national selectors, to look at individuals and see if they could possibly make a make a step up to the national side, perhaps to the Springboks side? Yeah, I think basically it's not a secret. You, know, one of our strategy goals in the Springbok environment is always to win. We want to win and we are passionate about the game, you know, and also making proud uh, our country proud. So the main goal for these games for me is to win and the boys, I think we all align there, you know. Uh, and the second thing for me, it's, it's just the opportunity, man. You know, a lot of these guys, they've been through tough times. We know we've got a good mixture of youngsters coming through and also some experienced guys like Goose, who's been out with the, with the injury, Cornell Hendricks coming back to join uh, our team, you know. Uh, those are the guys that are, have been there. They know what it takes. So, and I'm also excited to see what they will bring on the table because of, if you see the energy amongst them, you know, uh, we've got a lot of exciting young stars. Uh, Suleiman uh, at wing, we've got a guy like uh, uh, Van Beek at center, you know, brilliant, brilliant youngsters, you know, and uh, Apelele Fasi who's also been craving for his opportunity, you know. So I'm just excited for them to to get that opportunity and uh, to see a lot of old, old faces also back in the mix. Justin? Thank you, Sina. Good afternoon, Coach. Good afternoon, uh, Johan. Uh, Coach, you'd have to just excuse us for thinking that it's Friday captain's press conference. <laughs> Coach, for you, just moving to your bench, um, I see Grant Williams, um, Sandil, Mohamba, you know, they, Nohamba, they both Scrum halves, but Grant obviously giving you an option at wing. I mean, is that sort of where your head is leaning towards in terms of giving them just an option at various positions as well um, going forward? Yeah, Justin, you know, uh, uh, it's it's we we presented our plans to the team already last night, you know, and then the guys are aligned. You're 100% right. You know, Grant Williams with his pace, you know, uh, his first priority, and we know that he's a scrum half and he wants a fair opportunity at nine. So he is a he is a, a backup nine. Also, same goes with uh, Sanele, and you know Sanele at the junior level, he has played fly off also where he used to cover both positions. So and then Gianni Lombard, who's a utility back, with I've also coached him at the junior box, where we used to play him at uh, at wing also. You know, so I think on the bench, I'm not I'm not uh, concerned at all. We've got footballers there, players that can cover a lot of different positions, and uh, I think we've got a good mixture also. If you look at a guy like Suleiman. Uh, at, the, at, the, at, the, at wing, who's also a natural centre, you know, so I think we are well covered there regarding those positions. And 
for any coach, you know, if you can get a player who can play between two or three positions, you know, uh, it's always a nice thing for any coach, you know, because anything in rugby is the physical game. Injuries do come true, you know, so I think we'll be well prepared, though. Mubi? Hi, good afternoon, uh, Coach Dick. Um, just to follow up on Ross and Justin's question as well, um, just in regard to, you said Lord, the yeah, is injured. Um, is that the reason why Salman Murat is not in the SIA squad? Is he, will, he, will he be in the main picture for the main team? I think just to explain it nicely, Ned, because if you look at the, on the other side with the Springboks, uh, the original plan was always to have at least plus minus 28 players on the camp on that side, you know, so that also for, for training where you can at least have two teams to train against each other, you know. And Salaman Murat is always close, you know, uh, to, to make our squad. I'm talking about the match 23, but once again, he's competing against, uh, you know, world-class Yeben, you know, uh, a guy who's actually now one of his best forms. So, yeah, Salman, we know he's, uh, he's got a great potential. And I also like his uh, maturity over his, his shoulder, you know. He's got a proper brains, you know. So it's someone who's still growing into that position. But I think... For him, he's just waiting for his opportunity. Uh, when the time comes, you know, uh, I don't doubt at all, you know, when the opportunity comes for us as coaches also, we'll probably trust him because we know he has done the job for Junior Box, we know he has done the job for the Stormers, and we know he's got a bright future. But once again, he's, uh, he's just unfortunate where a guy who's playing ahead of him, you know, Yevon Etzapep, who's world class, you know, so uh, uh, hopefully in the next two weeks, probably he'll get also his opportunity. This is an interesting game considering it's at a 40,000 plus seater stadium and, and Munster have a history with tour matches that other club sides might not necessarily have. They they take it a little bit more seriously maybe. Um, did you consult maybe with, with Jacques and Razi about their time with Munster and, and, and their experience of, of playing these international tour games and the mental challenge that presents for, for touring countries? Yeah, we, we, we had to go deep into, into the history of these games. We know uh, a team like Munster... Uh, it's a world-class side, you know, very professional in how they, they they go about with their business, you know. And we had to go deep into the history because if you look at the history, you know, these uh, games with the international side, they really, really uh, give everything they've got. And we've also presented uh, that history to the players to for them to understand the challenge that lies ahead of them. And uh, if you also remember the last one they played against the, uh, the Maoris, the New Zealand Maoris, you know, where... They went full out. I think at that time, uh, a guy, even Thomas Tutoy, who was also part of the Mansa team at that time, you know, so I know for sure, and the players also, they understand the challenge that uh, these are historical games, especially for Mansa, you know, and they will always make sure that they bring their best for these games. So we're not going to take them for, for granted and, and underestimate them. Uh, they are world, world class side. The history says it speaks for itself when it comes to them. So yeah, we went to their history and we know exactly what lies ahead of us. And yeah, but once again, we just uh, uh, privileged to be in this position. You know, like Johan just said now, you know, SAA or playing the junior box when you represent your country at any level, such so something that we can't take for granted. So we'll make sure that we do everything in our powers to also make our country proud. Thanks, Mina. Just one for Coach Stick, please. Um, can I just ask you about Jason Jenkins and what you've seen from him since he's moved to Leinster this season? Yeah, well, for sure. He's, uh, he's, I think the last time I've worked with him, it was in 2018, you know, where he made his day before the Springboks, you know, and then you have seen the growth in his game already, how he, he also conducts himself around. Like Johan mentioned, there's a lot of youngsters, but he's already taking that leadership role in our team look at the guys that we've got that's one thing that i must be, i must be honest and say as a coach i'm privileged to have the those experienced guys in our squad you know you saw in a total of 14 spring box in that team the good balance of you having herschel who's been there for us with the spring box uh, goose at 10 and then uh and then cornell you know coming back you know that will also uh, allow those youngsters you know to 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 have their their freedom you know because of these are the guys that will probably manage the game and drive us, and that will also free those uh, uh, expected players on the outside. You know, we know one thing for sure: the game is going to be tough and physical. So, but once again, and also the fact that uh, uh, Jason knows the conditions very well and he knows Mansa very well, I think uh, he's going to be massive in our system. You know, uh, and I'm also looking forward to the partnership he's got 
with the one okay next to me. Brendan? Hi, just one for, for Coach Dick, guys. Um, could you give us a bit of an insight into how much travel has been involved, how many training sessions you could do, how much work you can actually get under your belt and how confident you can be that things will, will click given all that on Thursday? Yeah, I think from my side, uh, Brendan, uh, I've, I've, I've joined the guys at the airport in, uh, in Dublin. Uh, you know, like Gus said, uh, they had a bit of a long traveling from South Africa, but once again, I think everything went smooth with them. They arrived yesterday, and then we had a good also fast trip from Dublin to to Cork. So I have to be honest and say things went okay for us according to how we planned it, and we planned in the for in the future. You know, we we had long plans uh, about this uh, this uh, this camp, and uh, so far so good. And we understand very well that listen, we don't have a privilege of having enough time to prepare. You know, so the key thing is also for us as coaches to make sure that we don't really make a white noise, you know, we just make sure that we give the information that's going to make sure the guys, when they pitch up on the field, they don't have to stress too much about the detail. They must just make sure that they express themselves and make sure they give everything they can, uh, they've got in their powers. We don't want them to, to to think too much on Thursday about the detail, you know. We know one thing, we're not going to get it 100% right, you know. Uh, I won't be, I'll, I'll be honest with you, is to say the most important thing for me is for them just to pitch up on the day and make sure that they bring energy and get into a lot of battles as uh, as much as they can on the field, you know, because of it's going to be a tough game. But uh, once again, I was honest straight enough to them uh, that, yes, there will be mistake on the game. But it's, for me, it's not about that. It's about how they fight together as a team, you know. So I think that's where we need to show character is that fighting spirit as a team. Zina, I guess you're all done, but Zina, I don't know if you get a correction from, from Coach Stick. Coach Stick. English is my second language. Can I just did I hear you correctly? Did you say Sasha is injured? And was there any temptation from, from your side to possibly consider somebody like Amani Lobok in your side? And my other question to 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 to, to Johan Gosen. Johan, that was the last paar weke, maande, heel wat gepraat oor jou manier. Manier, jou naam trend in Suid-Afrikaanse rugby, as ek, as ek het so moest stel, as ek moet oortref op bykie. Dit van op, op een persoonlijke noot, Johan, kan jy nie soms ons praat oor jou paakie die laaste paar maande wat jy op die kantlijn was, en nou skeel ek weer die voorrecht om in die groen en goud te wees, meneer. Is daar baie druk op jou aangoosing om weer om self te vestig mondelik in die springbokspan, of selfs in hierdie SAA as man? Ja, Pes, I don't think you, you need to worry about English being your second language. You know, both of us, we're in the same boat, you know, so don't worry, my, my friend, on that one. Uh, regarding to Sasha, let me also explain it nicely. Sasha last week during the training sessions, he had a bit of a knock, so it's not something that is injured, that he, he, he won't be able to play in the province in the next two weeks. It's just that the medical side on the other side wanted to spend more time with him to make sure that they prepare him very well so that if there's an opportunity, then he can be able to play if opportunity comes. And then Mani Lebok originally was also supposed to join us, uh, but unfortunately uh, because of uh, the medical reports, so he also had to be pulled back so that he can uh, uh, give us uh, extra numbers on the other side and also stand a chance maybe to be selected on the other side. So yeah, that's why Mani would have been here also with us, uh, but he's with the Springboks now. I think that's the main thing because it's that's how we do things here. It's the Springboks say they get to select the best possible players that they want, and then we will work with the rest of the squad, you know. Zina, just another coach for co or question for Coach Dick, if you don't mind. Just, I think everyone in Ireland and in Munster was looking forward to seeing Razi this week coming back to Munster for the first time, but he's obviously made the decision not to come and he's going to Paris with the team. Can you maybe just give us some perspective on, on why he made that decision and whether he was disappointed to miss out on this return? Is that a question for me or for Zina? Uh, for you, if possible. Okay. No, like 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 I said earlier on, uh, you know, uh, uh, the main priority is the spring box, you know, and uh, through the challenges that we had on the game, you know, I think Rassi felt like, you know what, he needed to be in the in the spring box camp in France with them to make sure that we turn things around. We know very well that we we really, really were close to, to win the game against Ireland. You know, it was a very tough game, you know, but it, there's, a bit, there's a lot of work on there, you know. Uh, that needs to be done in the team. So I think Rassi felt like, you know what, he needed to stay behind. Uh, it would have been nice to have him on the camp, you know, with his experience, you know, and we know the impact that he brings into the players. But once again, you know, I think we've got the coaches around us also, you know, around myself. At, uh, I'm, I'm taking the leadership role in our coaching staff. 
and we've got guys like Bafana, you know, who's very experienced also to manage the junior Springbok team. Uh, Joey Mongal, who's been around Super Rugby teams, you know, uh, with the Lions, with the Bulls, uh, now currently at the Shark, you know. So, uh, not direct all that, uh, the guys that we've got in, in our camp also are the right people for the job. And uh, more especially also to mention a forward coach like Vian, who's been here also before, played for the Monster, understands the conditions very well, understands the people very well. And uh, I think it's a, it's a massive challenge for us. And I think, like Goose was saying now, uh, uh, the challenge is not only for the youngsters that are coming through, the challenge is also for us as coaches, you know, because of it's a great opportunity for me to be able to sit here and, 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 and lead these guys that we've got here. It's a massive honor for me. So I would love also to make sure that a lot of them, they kick the door down, you know, to stand a chance to be in that uh, World Cup squad. You are you Zina Gota. Thank you, Zina. Pumoi, Umkalo, Kalo, Pata, Kalikulu. In about Kumbuza, Gela Casalago, Pai, Pai, the Casso, all my ins, you know, Jeremy Ward. Tata and Nathan in the end, and the enjoy our cool responsibility by head coaching. I want to Kumbu Levalo now, now, go 2015 Gela Casalan Sakota and Abipai. We so mentioned Lama, Abafan and Abaka, Abapao, Jeremy Ward. Bafana ba ambabo dala alma kala makulu na wuse France ngo James Hall na bafana ba juu chuni ya poko mel. Eyo na ndugu ndi enjoy ba minutu ba na dipe abafana ba nani opportunity ya bon. And then dia ifuwe la ke ogu nam diti ogu di twelve two ba di kuwa seven zana bafana. More especially also kwa ujanga na experience na ifu tangu am kumbule kalo kwa bafana ba jamu lendo yohan Hussein na Colonel Hendricks ya bon. Thomas Tutoi we captain the Sharks currently. So kwa bafana ba na experience wa kulu so. Lolum Twala, I'm on Twala, and Zauber, I'm coming back on the water. To make a difficult trust leadership in Naya around him. And I think it's a very sana kakia cool, and they turned an excitement of a little bit. Like we are going to be saying Chilo earlier on that by a very noble opportunity. And the Nandi Pilif Yamba in Landi Bumin, I think Abantu Ubumi is all about the opportunities. And they have really go by, even if you are 30 or you are 29 or you are 19 or you are 35. If we learn the excitement, ba ubona kwa bata libeti ba ba ya vui ba la kwa fumani tu ba nam, and hopefully sina kuwazi upepo makati sumani ne 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 results.